but I have a car audio problem that I think is pretty cool. Uh, this truck has the Alpine CDA 9883, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But it's got a really weird problem. All right, so when we're, when we're playing this radio at a low volume, everything's cool. But when my man starts turning the volume up, shit gets crazy. So that's kind of weird. Now you might think it's just a skipping ass CD, but it's not. This is actually playing off an of iPhone, so we got something going on. Now in this truck, he's got a four channel amplifier in the back for the door speakers. So let's see what happens to this uh, display panel when he turns the volume back up. Alright, so this is the best thing I can do for the camera angle here. Got my multimeter probes right here. So I'm just going to touch the positive terminal of the amp as well as the negative terminal. And then I'll move my uh, hand out of the way. So we have the key off right now while well, it's in ignition. So we're at 11.7. And then I'm going to take my fucking hand out of the way first. So now I'm just going to take this uh, red probe in my meter and I'm going to touch the remote wire right there in the middle. And then I'm going to ground black. Uh, lead on the meter again at the amp. Now my man here is going to start turning up the volume again. So you can see that we've got a, something's going on here where the voltage at the turn on lead for the uh, amplifier, the voltage is going down to the point where uh, the amplifier turns off. Now this is super fucking dangerous. You gotta be very careful if you're gonna try this shit. All I'm doing, I have a piece of just 16 gauge wire and I'm just gonna do a little jump from the battery positive here to the remote wire. And I'll try to do it and keep my hand out of the way at the same time. All right, so go ahead and turn it up, boss. Lurks in the mind of a bad man. I have to call Spice One. How loud you at? Yeah, straight motherfucking East Bay killer. How high did you get it up that time? 25. So with uh, full battery power at the remote wire, uh, the amplifier did not cut off. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what kind of voltage we have at the output of the head unit on the remote wire. So my man is going gonna, is gonna to try to pull this dash panel off. I think he can do it. Do you think it. he can do it? Let's yeah, do let's it. do it, man. Now my man's been a mechanic for the last 18 years. <laughs> he uh, pulls dashes apart every day. Now, my man here represents, you know, the average, you know, YouTube user. They don't work at a mechanic. I mean, they got hands-on capabilities, but they don't do this shit every day. So this, this is this is the kind of person that these videos are for. Look at that. Uh. So we're gonna uh, pull this radio out on this Silverado. It's like three, what, eight millimeter bolts or some shit. This isn't really a how-to pull a radio out of a Silverado. We're just, we really just wanna show what's going on with this radio. So I'm at the back of the radio. The black lead of my meter is in the black wire cavity here. And the red wire is <laughs> at the remote turn on wire. So, you can set that down and then just start uh, turning the volume up again. So what we've confirmed here is that the blue and white stripe wire here just has low voltage at high volumes. It's probably a problem with the radio itself. I don't fix radios or none of that shit. I'm just a mechanic or whatever. Um, so our solution is going to be this. Since that wire, the only thing it does is it turns on the amplifiers. We're just gonna find another source of power to turn on the amplifiers. We just happened to be looking at this and said, well, why don't we just tap the remote turn on to the radio turn on? Yeah, that thing right there. So let's just see if that works. Get the tip, I'm on my, I'm on 
open your motherfucking eyes. You see a nigga standing over your bed, bitch, surprise. It's time to pay your motherfucking ties. And him being the bitch that he is, he cries. So in this case, finding an alternate source of power for the amps is going to spare this guy from buying a new head unit. You know what I mean? That's what's up, huh? Sweet. So, I don't know, not really a fixed video for a specific car or whatever, but for this Alpine deck, uh, we were able to test and collect some evidence, point at the error being and the radio itself, not the amplifier or anything, and uh... We're just going to solder these wires up, tape them up, and uh, we'll be good to go. That's just, uh, seeing you work on cars, it's just like, man, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what are you about? What are you trying to say? Well, I mean, I see you working on these big, massive fucking machines that would probably take your fucking head off. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. And some of the shit you do, and then... Now you're being delicate and I'm not trying to fuck up a radio you're putting in. Bag hanging out my back pocket. It's a new day. Grab my Glock, cocked it in rock. 64, I chopped it. How I am it. Just lift the pole for the young tap. Sipping it, kicking it. As we roll through the west side. One child out to find it. Since I'm dark brown. My man got the radio fixed, didn't cause nothing but some time and a little piece of wire. Thumbs up. Big shout out to my man Jay for uh, donating the truck and the problem. Can't have my own video up without me being in the motherfucker, so thanks for watching. You like what you see, subscribe to my shit, you know what I mean? All right, I'm here with Mr. Big Penis. <laughs> no, <he's not>. <laughs> <laughs>